Mai. He tumuahi, motu motu pura. Me kihi, po kehi. Tanakwe, mea totira tautoki hoki. Norera, kotu katoa, penakoto, penakoto katoa. Craighead, you've got um, I know a number of uh, building 
uh, you know, new developments going on, and you'll have other things in the future and some things you won't know about. Uh, but I certainly want to say to you this morning, uh, congratulations. We're <coughs> really sorry to be losing uh, one of our key people in our school. We're fortunate enough to appoint someone who is here today also, Katrina Kilbell, who's taken uh, up uh, a mantle and new leadership role for her. So as we wish her well, I say to uh, and, and Lily well today, I say to you as a community, stand with her, uh, help her uh, settle into her principalship. It's not an easy thing to do, uh, come into a new environment, and I've done it a few times, it doesn't get any easier, but certainly uh, the support of your community is huge, and I'm sure the Craigie community, staff, board, uh, and the wider, you, the students, and the wider Perry community will get behind your, your new leader. So, without any further ado, it really just uh, behoves me to uh, say to Lindy, every blessing on behalf of Canada College. Thank you for serving us so well. Uh, we will miss you, but you're not too far away. And uh, certainly pick up the phone or better still drop in uh, any time. Canada will always be here to the other way, like, close to you stand as well. Morega, Namika, Koto, Tifano, Nore, Tena Koto, Tena Koto, Tena Koto.
hello to the Craig Heath family. It's nice to be here uh, for this time. It gives me a huge pleasure to be here after a very exciting and very emotional three months. Firstly, I'd like to thank Corinne Bruce, the two boards, and the whole Craig Heath community for making me feel welcome today. <coughs> Next, I would like to introduce some of my own family, my immediate family, who are here today to share on a special occasion with me. I'm going to start with my daughter Jess from St Hilda's Collegiate. Thank you, Jess. Um, my partner John Taylor can't be here today, he's in Malaysia, so he He's very much thinking of us at this time. My father from Ashburton, Campbell, over there. Thank you for coming. My sister Karen and my brother Jeff and their families. They're both ex Craighead parents. And also my two nieces here are ex Craighead pupils, so some of you know them. So thank you very much for sharing today with me. Appreciate it. I thought I'd also briefly share my first experiences of Craighead. So recently, I have smashed a bottle of champagne over a new rowing eight, Emma. I have been hugged by a large green crocodile. <laughs> and I have received muffins baked by the Board of Proprietors Chairperson, Philippa. So thank you, Philippa. In addition, I've also seen lots of evidence of the Craighead spirit. After huge disruption caused by the loss of buildings through earthquake damage, the whole school community has shown resilience got on with their lives and continued to perform to the best of their abilities in teaching and learning, in sport, in cultural pursuits and in academic endeavours. I can certainly appreciate the commitment and the dedication it takes to continue to strive for excellence under difficult circumstances. Well, thanks must go to the whole Craighead staff. Special mention must be made of Mr Fraser McKenzie, Mrs. Philippa Guerin, Mr. Wayne Paul, Mrs. Elizabeth Brito, Mr. Phil Howard, and Mrs. Yvonne Thompson for their leadership during these times. Thus, my first impressions are very positive as we look towards facing the challenges of a new era together. <coughs> to the students of Craighead, I look forward to getting to know you as people, to sharing in your lives, to supporting you in your various endeavours, and for being there if things don't go according to plan. Please introduce yourselves to me when the opportunity arises. I've made no secret of the fact that I am delighted to be coming to lead a school of special character and I'm grateful for the invaluable experience that Kavanagh College has provided for me. I'm so proud that Kavanagh has accompanied me here today and that I'm able to share my new school with you. Special thanks to Tracy O'Brien for the handover, I wish you crazy. and to Katrina Cabell and the Kapahaka group, to some of my very good friends on the staff, to the student leadership team, and to some of my former geography students who are here today too. So thank you for giving up your time to feel well me today. In February, I received a lovely card, amongst others, from Mrs Rosie State, and I quote, it will be hard to leave Cabinet College, but I can assure you that you will receive a very warm welcome here. This is state was right on both counts. Naurira, Namihi, Ke Katoa, Otafana of Craighead, Tinakoto, Tinakoto, Tinakoto Katoa, 